salt crystal, an iron magnet, or a planet. Some basic questions are not being explained, for example, Atoms of mercury have 80 protons, neutrons, and electrons. Atoms of iron have 26 protons, neutrons, and electrons. Why is one cubic centimeter of mercury, a liquid at Earth temperatures, less weight than one cubic centimeter of iron? There must be less matter in one cubic centimeter of mercury than one cubic centimeter of iron. If the weight of the one centimeter or cubic centimeter of mercury is five times less than the weight of one cubic centimeter of iron, then a human may guess that there is five times more space between atoms of mercury than between atoms of iron at 320 degrees Kelvin. Even if there are more protons, neutrons, and electrons in an atom of mercury than in an atom of iron, atoms, or perhaps molecules of iron, are more close to each other. Iron can be moved more fast, heated, to make the iron a liquid and perhaps even a gas, the movement of mercury atoms can be slowed, frozen, to make the mercury a solid or moved more fast, heated, to make the mercury a gas. Most molecules and atoms are not the same size, but most protons, neutrons, electrons, and photons, I guess, are the same size. A proton weighs 3.3 exponential minus 24 grams. 2 divided by Avogadro's number, 6.022 exponential 23. One gram of any atom, molecule, or object made of matter is equal to 3.011 exponential 23 protons. There could be 10,000 or more photons orbiting in the space humans are calling a proton. These are basic ideas that are never explained in a way good enough for me. Humans have not explained the universe by thinking of photons or that photons are matter. The idea that photons are matter is new and so a number of ideas in science have not been explored. For example, when photons reflect off a mirror, do the photons touch other photons or do the photons rotate other photons and move back in the opposite direction? When photons change direction in water, glass, or clear plastic and perhaps other atom groups, what is causing the photons to change direction? Gravity may be the only force in the universe and all other forces the combined gravity of moving matter. Humans should not fear asking any questions. As a star in planets form, the matter most close in distance to the star moves more fast. For this reason, the planet Mercury must have the most collisions for the amount of space than any other planet more distant from the star Mercury rotates. Planet Jupiter probably gets more collisions because of size. Perhaps life has evolved on planets of other stars like the stars of Centauri, Epsilon Eridani, 61 Cygni, or globular clusters. Life of other stars may have recorded part or all of the forming of the planets and life of this star. What a fun group of images that would be to see. Maybe sometime when more than 10 humans live off the surface of planet Earth and a majority of humans care for truth, humans will find more advanced life of other stars. The method of science is always to provide all information for free, to openly share all things learned. A bad thing that happens is that humans freely copy ideas from humans in science, take the ideas and try to copyright and patent the ideas, the original humans that should be credited with the original idea are forgotten, not celebrated, not rewarded, not exposed. I'm standing out here in the University of California, Berkeley, to read this last paragraph in the part Science. Science is a self-rewarding process, and religion is a self-punishing process. Science is the search for truth. Science is the search for pleasure. Religion is not a search. All questions in religion have been answered. Religion is the remembering of the same false stories. The stories never change. Why are humans in science not shown? Why promote religious humans and ignore science humans? 
how will religious humans advance life of Earth? All over the planet Earth, humans are learning science. I ask humans to stop support for religion and to continue support for science.